Nasal surgery is a medically required procedure for patients who continue to be bothered by difficulty breathing through their nose despite medical treatments that are available. For example, these are patients who describe themselves as being mouth breathers. They say that they have difficulty sleeping at night because of their nasal airway obstruction. They've already tried nasal steroid sprays. They've already tried nasal tapes to open up their nasal passages. They've already been ruled out for having a sinus infection or polyps. And yet, despite all of those different interventions, these patients still can't breathe through their nose. They find that they're limited in their exercising because they can't move enough air through their nose. Those are the patients who, after trying all of the medical treatments that we have available, they still have an anatomic issue with their nose that limits their nasal airflow and therefore makes them a great candidate for nasal surgery. Patients are candidates for medical nasal surgery if they have faithfully tried all of the medical treatments to improve their breathing through their nose, but they're still having difficulty breathing through their nose. And medical nasal surgery will really cover the whole spectrum of patients. Men come to have medical nasal surgery, women, children, adults, um, lots of patients who they find that they use nasal steroid spray and they're still not experiencing enough airflow through their nose. Medical nasal airway surgery can be performed in the inpatient setting or the outpatient setting. The procedure in and of itself is a very reasonable and safe procedure to be performed in an ambulatory surgery center, which is an outpatient setting. If a patient is either having another procedure performed at the same time, for example, sinus surgery, or if the patient is having some other kind of procedure or if they have a medical condition where an inpatient setting would be safer for them than an outpatient setting, then we can perform it in the inpatient setting. But the procedure itself is a very safe procedure that really is perfectly appropriate for an ambulatory surgery center. The recovery period for nasal airway surgery typically surprises patients. Most of my patients tell me that they expected a more difficult recovery than the one that they experienced after their nasal surgery. I advise patients to take a week off from their activities, whether it's work or school or other commitments, so that they can have a full week to recover. Patients should be able to walk, they should be able to eat normally. They shouldn't need someone in the home with them. Most patients find that they don't have a substantial amount of pain. So most patients after the first day or two are fine with over-the-counter analgesics for pain relief, for example. They may still have swelling after a week, but generally speaking, the vast majority of patients feel as though they're ready to get back to their typical activities after that week. And after the first week, the restrictions are generally lifted for most patients to the extent that they can resume their exercise if they like to do that, or they can resume other more active um, activities that we have restricted during the recovery period. Generally speaking, insurance covers medically necessary nasal surgery. Insurance appreciates that patients who have exhausted medical treatments, 
but still suffer from limited nasal airflow and difficulty breathing through their nose, those patients have a structural issue with their nose that's limiting the airflow. And insurance companies appreciate that those patients need the surgery rather than medical therapy and will pay for them to have that performed. It's rarely a problem with the insurance companies. When we, as the surgeons, have documented that, yes, they have difficulty breathing through their nose. Yes, they tried medical treatments first and medical treatments didn't work. And they have an anatomic problem with their nose, such as a deviated septum or a different type of issue that needs to be repaired with surgery. Johns Hopkins has special expertise in nasal surgery. We have a team of experts who have been focused on it for decades as facial plastic and reconstructive surgeons. We have special expertise in nasal airway surgery by virtue of our training and our practices. We are 100% committed to an outstanding experience, recovery, and outcome for our patients and our family members. And we are delighted to serve our patients with medical nasal airway surgery.